right, how's it going everybody? This is Is Morta. And this evening, during my 6 p.m. Central, in this case, board game, more like card game stream, be showing you, uh, it's basically an unboxing video of Spark of Rebellion set from Star Wars Unlimited TCG. So by unboxing, I mean, I'm not gonna show you me ripping open packs, um, I'll be showing you the collectible cards, really the stuff of value that's not common and uncommon that I got from technically four and three quarters displays, four and a half displays, and also from the uh, pre-release kit, which has six packs, which is a fourth of a display. And of course, if you like what you see, be sure to comment and follow and all that jazz here on twitch.tv slash ismorda. And if you miss the stream, no worries, you can catch it the following day on YouTube at Shadow Balance Games. So I have here, like I put all my cards in a box, but what I have in this binder here is all of the shinies, pretties, and very valuable and powerful cards. So again, like in the display, when I say boxes, I mean one of these displays, boxes, whatever you want to call it. Each of these has 24 packs, so I opened four and a half of those plus um, technically nine packs outside of that. So just a little upwards of four and three quarters. And this is what, we, what I got. So I had this organized by the uh, type of card as well as rarity, so let's uh, just jump into it. This is me showing you a bunch of pretties. Sith Power! What's up in that, Chris TV? Alright, here we go. So I start off with, these are all of my hyperspace commons and uncommons. I won't go through the minutia what's on the cards, uh, but I'll read off all the different card names. Because there's, there's a lot going on in all these cards. Uh, Krillian Fighter, Confiscate, Viper Probe Droid, Metal Ceremony, Cell Block Guard, General Veers, Swoop Racer, a couple hot snapshot reflexes. More hyperspace. And again, what I mean by hyperspace is these are cards that have no border. And it's full art all the way to the edges of the card except you all see a hyperspace effect around the edge on, that goes on top of the edge of the art on the outside of the card. So it's, it's full art as opposed to having to be border um, cut off. That's what's cool. Um, Waylay, Asteroid Sanctuary, um, Administrator's Towers, Syndicate Lackeys, Shoot First, Boba Fett, Bib Fortuna, Jen Urso, Lothal Insurgent, Rogue Operative, Bamboozle, Attack Pattern Delta. And I also have these, not only do I have it by, like, for example, all my hyperspace uncommons, uh, but then in that section, I have it partitioned by what aspect. So, like, I have all the cunning aspects and then, like, the command aspects, for example. Um, Attack Pattern Delta, Vanguard Infantry. Patrolling V-Wing, Recruit, Tactical Advantage, Echo Base, Command Center, Academy Training, Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, Gladiator Star Destroyer, Laragonas, Bright Hope, Mon Mothmas, Rallying Cry. Again, these are all commons and uncommons that I have hyperspace of only. Um, Catacombs of Kadera, Mission Briefing, Katana Braggarts, Cast, uh, I was Castro, <laughs> yeah, that's a different city, Castro City, Castro City, Jesus, uh, Keep Fighting, Infiltrator Skill, Precision Fire, Jetta Agitator, Starwing Scout, Power Failure, um, IG-88s, First Legion Stormtrooper, yeah, Echo Base Operations, I know, right? <laughs> Bring them back. Uh, one of my decks back in the day with uh, the Cypher. Uh, Sabine Wren. Um, 
Then we have uh, Green Squadron A Wings, Carabast, Resilient, Dagobah Swamp, Moment of Peace, Make an Opening, Capital City, uh, Director Krennix, Inferno 4. I really like the look of that one. You see it like shooting off the side. It's pretty cool. Uh, Lieutenant Chaldson, Restored Arc 170. Vigilant Honor Guards, Chewbacca, Security, Consular Security Force, and the Ghost. So now what I have next are all of my foil commons and uncommons that I got. Again, this is just commons and uncommons that are just foil, not also hyperspace, so just foil. And similar sorting by um, aspect as well. Um, volunteer Soldier, Krillian Freighter, Underworld Thrug, Restock. And I'll kind of do this to the page who succeeds on the Shimmer too. It's pretty cool. Confiscate, Viper Probe Droid, Maximum Firepower, Thailand Fighter, Metal Ceremonies, Snow Speeders, Alliance X Wing. Again, these are all foils. Um, Fleet Lieutenant, Protector, Resilience, Cargo Juggernaut, Repair, System Patrol Craft, Make an Opening, Rugged Survivors. 2-1-B surgical droid. And so you, it's as a reminder, in case you're not aware, so I don't know, I don't recall um, all of the drop rates and for the different slots in a pack, but basically you're guaranteed a certain number of commons, a certain number of uncommons, always one rare, always one foil, and you always have a one base and one leader. Now you can get better versions of all the things in those slots, but that's all stuff you're guaranteed. So that's why I have a lot of foils because you, you always get a foil. You can have, you got a lot of foils. It's like, for example, if you get one of these, you can at least have 24 foils, at least. As well as at least uh, 24 rares. And I believe the drop rate for legendaries, which is equivalent to like a mystic rare and magic is one in eight packs. So you you should get around three per box, whereas a showcase is one in twelve boxes. We'll get to that. Um, Guardian of the Wills. I keep saying the Willies. Uh, Cloud City Wingard Devotion. Scout Bike Pursuers Devotion. Another one. Um, Academy Defense Walker. Inferno 4. Again, I just love that because it shoots off the page. Um, Power of the Dark Side, Console Security Force, The Ghost, Escort Skiff, Strike True, Tactical Advantage, Vanguard Infantry, Recruits, Colonel Yorin, Hard Point Heavy Blaster, Prepare for Takeoff. That, this one is really like the foil. This really comes out really good on, on the, just that whole picture. It's kind of like a... Almost looks like a black and white image, but it's foiled instead. Just It, it really come, came out good on that one. Uh, Glider Star Destroyer. Alliance Dispatcher. Disabling Fang Fighter. Occupy Siege Tank. Couple Wampas. Mission Briefing. Precision Fires. Infiltrator Skill. Partis Sorry, Partisan, Insurgent, Force Throw, Power Failures, Death Star, Stormtrooper. Still looking at foils, comments and uncommons. Ruthless Raider, Gorilla Attack Pod. And what to, I thought was cool, it's like, even if you, you're playing like a low budget deck that's mostly comments and uncommons, the fact that you could be playing this game and have like also cool versions of the cards you're playing with. They're either foil or hyperspace or both. It, it's really cool. It adds this huge collect collectability aspect to the game outside of just the value of getting those really powerful cards, which is, to me, is, is a lot of fun. Every pack you get cool shit. That's what it boils down to. Uh, Katina Bouncers, Jawa Scavengers, Syndicate Lackeys. Don't worry, we'll get to the really good stuff here shortly. Uh, crafty Smugglers, but these just look cool. I was like, foil just looks amazing. Outer Rim uh, Headhunter, Asteroid Sanctuary, 
Snapshot Reflexes, Waylake, Smuggling Compartment, Greedo. Outmaneuver, ISB Agent, ISB Operations. Eh. Uh, Bounty Hunter Crew, No Good to Be Dead. Cartel Spacer, Ezra Bridger. Bamboozle, I got bamboozled. All right. Now we get to okay that's the pretty now what about the what about the the monies what about i want to win the game where, where are those these heavy hitters okay what you see here um is mostly all legendaries so this is your one and eight packs so these are non-foil non-hyperspace legendaries so force lightning black one a whole bunch of mace windows <laughs> Definitely tradable. Uh, Devastator, two Darth Vaders. Really excited about that. That, that card is fucking amazing, as he should be. Um, couple Vigilance, Avenger, Change of Heart, Super Laser Blast, Boba Fett. Really excited about these two. Uh, and Cunning. So I don't. I only, I only have like a smattering of different uh, legendaries. Like, I probably have, like, maybe eight different ones. There's probably, like, 15 to 20 or something in the set. So I probably have, like, half the legendaries, but also have some duplicates. So definitely some tradables. Um, what's cool at the bottom here, these are foil legendaries. So I got a foil Super Laser Blast and a foil Boba, Boba Fett. So cool. So technically I have two of each. Um, now what we're looking at here, starting with this card on the, in the corner, this is a hyperspace foil. So you have borderless, full bleed art with the hyperspace effect and, f and foil all on the face of the guard. These are, tend to be, what I've noticed, the prettiest cards. The foil hyperspace. So I volunteer soldier. And these are common and uncommon hyperspace foils. Underworld Thug. This is probably one of my prettiest ones I have that's not a super expensive, like, you know, rare legendary card. X uh, Wing Leader. Just the fact that, oh my god, it just looks so great having that, this borderless shine. So cool. Uh, Subblock Guard, General Veers, General Dodona, Thailand Fighter. Again, I, I just love the ones that looks like they're shooting off the page. Cargo Juggernaut, Protector. Steadfast Battalion, Prepare for Takeoff, Consortium Star Viper. This one came out really good, too. Uh, Keep Fighting, Imperial Interceptor, 7th Fleet Defender, Bib Fortuna, Outmaneuver. Again, I love the ones that shoot off the page. Ezra Bridger. Cool. Now I'll show you uh, the most valuable cards that I own. Um, on this page. And remember, if you like what you see or have comments or suggestions, before, be sure to talk to me. Or give me a thumbs up on twitch.tv slash Morda. So I have the top here are um, from the pre-release. These are promo cards of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. The reason why I say promo is because the only way you can get these two cards with foil on one side is from the pre-release kit. You can get both these cards from two-player starter, but the only way we get the foiled versions is from pre-release kit. Or if you happen to be a judge at one of these organized play events, I know you can get judge versions of these foiled cards also. Um, then I have here is a rare Bodhi Rook. That's hyperspace foil. And a rare Electrostaff. That's a hyperspace foil. Um, and then in the center here is my one showcase. So this I will take out and show. This is Jen Urzo. Uh, this is a showcase. So a showcase is one in 12 displays and 
It's the only way you can get a foiled leader other than some promotional thing. And it's a double-sided foiled leader with full art, alternate art, but no hyperspace effect. So it's full art, full alternate art, double-sided foil. The one I really want, I mean, to be honest, like the, the best art, in my opinion, are the showcase. Uh, the one I really want, just because I've seen before, it looks amazing, is IG-88. But to be honest, all of them are pretty cool. Including Jin. Um, let's see. Now what I have are rare hyperspace cards. So these are all rares with the hyperspace effect. And full art. So we have Red 3, Heroic Sacrifice, Rook. Probably butchering the name. I got two Gideon Hask. Iden Verzo. Verzio. That's a cool one. Um, Shirut Ui. <laughs> the guy from, from Rogue One. I'm butchering his name. You know, I'm, I'm with the Force and the Force is with me. That guy. Um, Search Your Feelings. Bodhi Rook. Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is a rare I really wanted. Bad as a leader and I got... And I have it as a hyperspace. That's pretty cool. Same with his ship, Chimera. Same thing. I have it hyperspace. Also amazing. And you notice these are the same colors, which it should be, so you can play them together. Um, then we have um, Delmico. Actually, wait a minute. So this is the end of my hyperspace rares. And then what I have here are my foiled rares. So for foiled rares, let me check one thing. Did I skip something? No, I think so. No, okay, I'll keep going. All right, so these are my foiled rares. So I have Delmico, Search Your Feelings. See that foiled effect? Um, Belogana, Emperor's Royal Guard, Red 3, Don't Get Cocky, Jetta City, Chopper. Um, and so for the rares, I think I have the majority of the rares, but I don't have every rare. But I have m most of the rares and some of the rares have multiple copies of. Whereas Legendaries, I have a smattering and Showcase, I have one. Okay, here I have, um, okay, 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 got it. All right, so these are my only foils that are for rares on this page. Then starting on this page, these are all of my rares that are standard. Uh, no hyperspace, no foil, standard rares. So I have three Galactic Ambitions, <laughs> which is amazing. I mean, it's also an end game card, it costs seven, but it's like, oh man, I have three of them, it's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Uh, same with you're, you're My Only Hope. The fact that I have three of them, that's cool. Because the max you could have in a deck is three. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Grand Inquisitor. That's another leader that I won really bad. So that's cool that I, I got two. You only need one. Because you can only have one leader in a game. You can only have one leader one base. Because they don't go on your deck. Two uh, Grand Inquisitors. Cassian Andor. Uh, which have three of. So definitely tradable. I mean, any of my leaders that, that's standard... For, honestly, that I don't have special treatments on, definitely tradable because you can only have one. And the more valuable ones to collect are the ones that have those other treatments. Uh, I was going to say Takanoko. No. Uh, Tarkin Town. Uh, Sagira. Smoke and Cinders. Uh, Wolf. Uh, bombing runs for a cause I believe in, red threes, heroic sacrifices. So for example, here we're like with red three, yeah, you could have two in a deck, but remember that this is unique. So that means you can only have one in play at a time. So if you happen to get a hand you have two in your, in your, in your hand, you can only play one. 
The caveat there, though, is you could play the second one. You just didn't have to get rid of one. So if you have a red three out and he took some damage, you can play a new red three to get rid of the one so you have one that's like at full health. You can do that. It's not that you can't play it. You just have to, you just have to kill off if there's a duplicate sort of thing. All right. Uh, K2SO, Fallen Lightsaber, Emperor Palpatine. See, this is a card that, for example, costs eight and two aspects, and I have four of them. It's like, are you going to even run three? Probably not. Maybe two. But it's like, I have four. So <laughs> Definitely tradable. Um, all right, so now I have um, blue, which is... Shit, what is blue? Green's command... Blue is, oh, Vigilance, right? Uh, security Complex, Iden Verzo, um, Shirut Imui, um, again, I'm probably butchering the name, uh, Bendu uh, was the fourth creature, it binds all things, Electrostaff. I, do t I did notice that any of the fourth creatures in the set, which I think I only have like two of, what, four? Uh, they all are double um, aspect of that color. Which, you know, is going to punish you because for every aspect you don't match, you have to pay an additional two resources to play. So it's like this one, you kind of want to go hard blue. Um, Binds all things, Electrostaff. More Electrostaffs. Jedi Lightsaber. This, it's like, it's cool that I have it, but, you know, you get Jedi Lightsabers and two-player starter, which everybody has, so it's sort of like, ah... A dead rare draw, that's what I'm saying. Unless you really want to roll three. Um, search your feelings. Del Mico. A lot of Del Micos. And then for Cunning, we have Jetta City. Three Han Solos. Again, all I need one. So Popo, trade a bow. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Again, excited I got Thrawn. Actually, I need one, technically, so also tradable. Unless I'm going to have pre-made multiple decks rolling a Thrawn. Um, Strafing Gunship. I have four, also tradable. This card, if you're not familiar, is just amazing. The fact that you can have something in space just bombing the shit out of something on the ground. It's like, God, I've seen it used. It's like, ugh. So punishing. But there's, there's, there's a lot of combos. And I'll have a future stream when I start building decks and going into um, deck construction and all that jazz. Uh, Don't Get Cocky, Sneak Attacks, Lando Calrissian, Sparkle Rebellion, Han Solos. This is the character, not the leader. Um, and you can have both in play at the same time. You just can't have multiple of the same card in play at the same time. So you can have like, the leader come out and the, play the unit together. Uh, choppers, more choppers, Boba Fett's fire spray, regular Chimera, uh, Job of the Hut. I had no choice. Many of those. Uh, I yes, I did actually get an Energy Conversion Lab, which is I know one of the bases that's currently being blasted as being in the meta. So I was excited to at least get at least one. I have two, even though you only need one. Uh, so when I start doing deck construction, see what it's all about. Yes, and this another one I really wanted was Emperor Palpatine, the leader, so that's cool. Um, Hera Syndulla, many of those. General Creel, uh, that's my other force creature that I own. Then we have uh, Frontline Shuttles, many Agent Callus, Traitorous, which is always a favorite of mine's because you could play a whole like control magic sort of thing. Steal someone's creature using against them. Um, Bail Organa, Admiral Akbar. I did actually get one of those. Uh, U Wing re uh, Reinforcements, Witch and Tilly's, many of those. And end cap with, we got some more Rooks. Uh, the Emperor's Legion. Emperor's Royal Guard, two and many Relentless. 
And that is my collection of stuff that is not regular, standard, common, or uncommon. All of my valuables, pretties, and rare drops. I do like the pretties. I mean, you can end up playing deck that's like an all foil deck, which is pretty cool. Or, or even like an all hyperspace deck. Or funsies. And that's the stream. I just want to keep it short and sweet. Even though I'm, I know we've gone like 25 minutes to show you uh, what you can get in roughly five displays worth of packs. I'll let you do the math. You know, again, each of these boxes is 24 packs. And you get 16 cards in a pack. Well, thanks for watching. Um, expect, um, I, get, I said more unlimited content in a future stream. Uh, probably be when I start building decks, let you know uh, some decks that I've built, strategies that I've thought up with, and get your comments on what you think are good as well. Um, in my next stream, though, this week, um, expect my solo game of Firefly, the board game, 10th edition. So... It is a collectible, and the fact that they actually made rules you can play by yourself makes it easier for me to actually stream it. So I can show you how the game plays. Which is a game that just um, got shipped from the uh, Kickstarter that was a few months ago. Cool, well, thanks for watching. Again, this is Morda, and I will catch you next time.